Hi, you still fun? What's good? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, this is Jason and Estelle. It's a warm place. Consider subscribing. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for your support. We cannot appreciate you guys enough. Thank you so, so much. Guys, as you might have seen from the title, let's get right into the video. This is how it all started. I was on my own working. I had my own things going on. I had things going on for me. I had stuff going on. Then this friend came up to me and said, oh, I think you make a fine lawyer. Well, I didn't give it a thought because I wasn't considering law at the time. It hadn't even crossed my mind. So another time the, this person said again, oh, I think you make a fine lawyer. Moreover, there are opportunities you would get because of my position. I could make this happen, that happen for you in terms of scholarship. So I said, well, I sat down and gave it a thought. I considered because of this person's position in politics, you know, so I said, okay, if there'll be scholarships in terms of taking away my financial burden, then why not give it a try? So I made a decision to pursue law. Guys, if you have watched my video on when I was bounced at the airport, the first time I was traveling to the USA, you would see from that video, I mentioned in that video that I always 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 seek god's opinion in whatever i do because i believe without god if god's presence is not there if he doesn't have anything to do with it it's not gonna work so this time around sis didn't consider that i didn't even think i don't know what came over me i didn't even pray about it i didn't try to find out god are your legs in this thing with me or i am going in with my own two left legs <laughs> I didn't consider any of that. I just jumped right into it. And this is why I did that. If you guys have not watched that video, I'll link it somewhere here so that you have a look at it. This is why I took that decision. This is why I considered to pursue law. First of all, guys, that scholarship was tempting. Who wouldn't consider a scholarship? If someone says go to school, there will be scholarships available to cater for, let's say, your fees. Sis, who wouldn't take that opportunity? So the scholarship package was tempting and I decided to take the offer. But did I really get this scholarship? Stay watching. That is a story that would come at the end of this video. Also, because of my environmental background, my degree is in environmental science environmental sustainability so because of my environmental background when this person brought the idea of pursuing law i said okay i could do environmental law a very key aspect of law so i developed interest in environmental law and i said okay if i'm pursuing law then this is the area i'm going to major in okay so i had already started plans on finishing the stage of the law and going into the Ghana School of Law to pursue and major in environmental law. So that was also a reason why I considered to pursue law. And the third thing why I gave this offer a thought, why I considered this offer was because my current job didn't really give me any opportunities for growth and development. I felt stuck and stifled. There were no trainings. There were no opportunities for me to, you know, learn new things and develop my career. So I said, okay, it's a new opportunity for me to expand my horizon, you know? Yeah. So that's why I took it. Guys. So I bought the forms, I submitted the forms. There were two stages, the entrance exams, where you would write an essay. They want to test your reasoning skills and your presentation skills and all that. I went through and the second stage was an interview. And guys, there were a lot of people that 
submitted your applications. If you don't know, entrance into the University of Ghana School of Law is not a joke. <laughs> okay, it's not a joke. Several people in thousands apply, but only about 200 or if I'm not mistaken, only few people are chosen. So yeah, many are called, but few are chosen. <laughs> That's just by the way. Yeah, many, many, many people apply, but only few people get admission. So I applied, I got admission. Your girl got admission into the school of law. Why did I then quit law? Several factors contributed to my quitting law. Several factors, but there's a major one which I will mention at the end, not at the end of the video, but that will be the last one I'll mention. So the very first one was my job. When I had admission, my job agreed that I would work part-time from work. So I would be doing three days at home and two days to show my presence, come in physical, you know, to come in to work. So because my job entailed writing reports, Yes, because my job mainly entailed report writing, environmental reports. They agreed that we should do it that way. Mind you, the course was a full-time course. The program I was going to read was a full-time program. It's not a part-time program. Yeah, so they agreed that that's what I was going to do. But I think two months into the program, they called me to the office. They said, the CEO says, if I come back it five times a day, then they would have to terminate my appointment. Was I disappointed? Yes, of course I was because I had planned to be sustaining myself from my job, you know, whilst I school. I was really disappointed. And this was one of the major, this was one of the reasons why I quit because my finances couldn't support me. Also, another reason why I quit was because the scholarship promised never came. <laughs> the scholarship never came and I was struggling with finances once again. I had, the plan was to depend on the scholarship for my fees. And now that the scholarship isn't coming and my job has been terminated, where was I going to find a means to support myself? Guys, when the Bible says, cursed be the man that puts his trust in another man. That was right. The Bible never lies. <laughs> That's not to say there are no divine helpers out there. There are. There are people out there who would tell you something and see it to the end. Because they are sent, you know. God sends people into our lives to help us. They are divine helpers. But, cursed be the man that puts his trust in another man that's also real so that is one of the reasons why i had to quit law school the disappointment came in and it was real the third reason which is one of the major reasons i spoke about earlier is because at this point jason and i were talking about marriage okay and so when i sat down and calculated the time we were going to get married and me moving to the usa I wasn't going to finish law school by that time. So instead of struggling to put in money into something that I wasn't going to finish, why not quit? Well, that's the angle from where I saw it. Why not quit? Guys, mind you, law school is not a joke. <laughs> the pressure, the pressure alone. If you're, if you're in law school, you barely have any sleep and when you're on vacation and you're sleeping you wake up abruptly in the middle of the night thinking you have to prepare yourself for class or you have to you have an assignment to work on it's like something is literally chasing you in your in your sleep you cannot sleep you can't have a good night's sleep so the relief it was a relief for me you know counting when i counted that the years left and the plan we had i said okay why not put that money energy and time into something else because if i got married and i'm not able to finish then it's also a waste of time and resources and all that that was 
the major reason why I quit law school. <laughs> Wow, guys, are you still here? If you've watched up to this point and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. If you are enjoying my story time, give this video a thumbs up. Okay? Okay? <laughs> so guys, that was how I quitted law school and had another job. So I was on that job until my relocation to the USA. <laughs> well do i regret do i regret do i regret quitting law school yes and a no yes because no no first let's deal with the no first no because i learned a lot of great stuff in law school law, law school is not only for those who want to practice law 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 is not for those who want to practice law law is everyday life law is everyday living so if you want to gain knowledge in that aspect nothing is stopping you guys you can do that it's a it was a great opportunity to learn a lot of new stuff good stuff for my life for my future even if i don't practice law if i don't go back to law school someday and practice law things i learned in law school are for life yes so in that regard, I don't regret quitting. Also, I don't regret quitting because law school afforded me the platform to meet very great people, really, really nice people, to make great friends, which I'm very thankful for. I have great friends who are lawyers, by the way, who are almost lawyers, by the way. So you guys, be careful how you talk to me because I have lawyers in my corner. <laughs> I have great, great lawyers in my corner. So you guys, watch out be careful how you talk to me okay okay <laughs> well yes i regret the yes why i regret is well i feel like i might have wasted someone else's chance as i mentioned earlier law school is not a joke the admission process is not easy so i feel if i hadn't occupied that spot it would have afforded someone else the opportunity to occupy it so yeah i regret in that regard also i regret not putting things in order before leaving i regret just ghosting the course or the program because i did not follow the right procedure of deferring the course if i should put it that way i should have gone through the right procedure deferred the course in a nice way so that maybe i could pick it up any other time that i want I don't know how long that is done though, but yeah, I should have gone through the right process of deferring the course instead of just quitting, ghosting the course and packing my stuff and leaving. Yes. So basically, those are my regrets. Those are my regrets. Will I pursue law later in the future? Only God knows. Only God knows. We we leave everything to God. God is the author and the finisher of our faith. So we leave everything in God's hands. Who knows? Keep watching. Stay tuned. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I might pursue law again or am I not? Yeah, stay tuned. That's the end of my story, guys. What do you think? Do you think my reasons are valid? What do you think of this story? Do you think I have reasons to quit? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I like reading from you guys. So engage me in the comment section, okay? And guys, keep supporting us. If you're not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.